Hi, my name is Kristen Mortensen. I own Guaranteed Appliances in San Marcos, Texas. I'm here to do just a brief rundown of some of the features you'll find in the TR7 washing machine. And if we have time, I'll, I'll show you a little bit about the, the DR7 dryer as well. Let's step on over here and let's have a look at the, at the panel. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. Now it's not hooked up to water, so I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna be able to show you how it washes. I've done other videos that cover that. So when you hit the start button, what's gonna happen is the last cycle that you used is gonna come up on the screen. So if that's the cycle you use the most, then all you have to do is hit start and you're on your way, you're done. So the, this machine has some pretty cool features. If you hit soil down here, it adds eight to 10 to 15 minutes. It depends on which cycle you're using. There's the light medium, heavy, and max on that's the, on the permanent press. On the heavy duty, look, it's about the same. Normal Eco, now this is something that most people are not aware of. Normal Eco is not a cycle I recommend if your clothes are dirty. Um, what it does is it meets the government mandates for energy efficiency and for saving water. If you use this cycle and you have dirty clothes, they're not gonna smell as clean as they could if they had a true rinse cycle which is uh, not what this machine does. What it does, instead of filling up and immersing the clothes in water and sloshing them around to rinse, it showers on them. Now, thank you government for requiring this of, man, of the manufacturers. The good news is, is Speed Queen has just this one cycle that meets the government mandates, whereas the other manufacturers, most of their cycles are going to meet that government mandate to save water. That's why uh, Speed Queen has just jumped out into the front of the herd, so to speak, um, for reliability and for desirability because they get the clothes clean. All right, so you can select, as you can see, water levels and temperatures right here. The load cycle is pretty cool. Um, you can select small, medium, and large, and on large, I think it's about 14 inches of water. It's a, it's a good amount of water. Now, on autofill, the machine senses and does what, um, what it uh, senses and adds water as needed. That's the cycle we use at home. It's fab fabulous. I don't have to think about it. It's just the machine does it for you and it does a great job. Now over here we have special cycles. It will show P1 through P4, which is the one we use the most at my home. And what it does is on the P4 cycle, it gives you um, very heavy soiled items, includes a 15 minute soak at the beginning of the cycle, a longer wash time than heavy duty, and an extra rinse. So now that's a quick, easy way to get to that cycle and we, we use that at home, especially um, for sheets. Now there are other things, of course, other dirty things that you might wanna use it for. So it has these um, eight cycles within the cycles and let's get back over to, uh, I'm gonna cancel out what's on the screen. So you can go ahead and select what you want. Let's put power on. Let's say you want to delay, put the clothes in the washer the night before. You can do that and uh, program it to start at six o'clock in the morning so that when the kids are off at school, you can just pull them out and you know, you've already got a head start on the day if that's how you do laundry. Now signal is great because if you're like me and you're out, um, you know, you're in la la land, then the machine will let you know that the washer, that the, 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 the laundry is done. So great cycles. The thing that we love about this machine is this board is made in Wisconsin. So yay. Um, as far as the washability of this machine, there's a lot of controversy, let's say, over the washability of this machine. Uh, I disagree strongly with the people that say this machine is not, does not clean well. It does clean very well. Now, if you're gonna use the normal eco cycle, there's your problem right there. Stop using the normal eco cycle. So as I've explained in other videos, but I'll give you a brief, uh, throw brief introduction again. This machine rotates about two and a quarter turns pretty quickly, stops and then reverses back the other way. And by doing that, it's pushing the water through the clothes instead of pushing the clothes through the water. It's a great design. Um, 
people are not thinking about physics when they see this machine working because what you're doing, the clothes aren't being beat around in the water. And I, I get people that get angry at me about saying beat around in the water, however you want to say it. But um, it's pushing the water through the clothes. So the clothes are not moving through the water. The water's moving through the clothes. Now, the other design speed queens, those, um, no, the TC5 in particular, that one moves the clothes through the water with the agitator versus the water through the clothes. Now, this is the measuring cup that Speed Queen recommends for their laundry. This is two tablespoons of soap. This is all you need. And people go, are you sure, but what if, but this, but that, this is it. I'm not a fan of the pods. That's a personal issue of mine. You can agree or disagree with me. Uh, I don't like the fact that there's a gel substance on the outside of that pack. And my belief is that it builds up inside the washers and inside your plumbing. So um, let's just stop there. If you want to hear more about the dryer, we'll run through that in another video. Um, again, I'm, my name is Kristen. I own Guaranteed Appliances in San Marcos, Texas. Thank you for watching.